Okay, hello everyone. So, sa video po na ito, uh, solve tayo ng mga angles and arcs of the given circles. Okay, so we're going to find the degree measure of an arc and central angles. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, example, this is our circle. Okay, meron tayo mga points on the circle. We have point G, K, L, M, N, H, and uh, the center of the circle is point E. So, this is circle E. Okay, in circle E, the measure of an angle L, E, M equals 48 degrees. Okay, so 48 degrees. And the measure of angle H, E, N is 30 degrees. Okay? The measure of Q, E, H is a right angle. Okay? Pag sinabi natin right angle, it measures 90 degrees. Okay? So, therefore, this one is 90 degrees. Next, Find the following measure of an angle or an arc. Number 1, the measure of angle LEK. Number 2, the measure of angle GAK. Number 3, the measure of angle LEJ. Number 4, the measure of angle GAH. Number 5, the measure of angle KEM. Number 6, the measure of an arc LK. Number 7, the measure of arc GK. Number 8, the measure of arc LMN. And number 9, the measure of an arc JH. And 10, the measure of an arc KLM. Okay, solution. Arc LMH is a semicircle. Kapag semicircle, ibig sabihin ang measure niyan is 180 degrees. Find the angle M E N. Okay, so ang gagawin natin para makuha natin yung angle M E N, okay, i-add lang natin yung 48 degrees plus 30 degrees. Okay, yung angle L E M at angle H E N. Okay, so since um L M, H is semicircle, it is equal to 180. Okay, so since binigay niya na yung dalawang angle niya, which is 48 at saka 30, add natin yung 78 degrees. And then, isusubtract natin yung 180 degrees na semicircle, okay, doon sa 78 degrees. Okay, then, ang sagot is 102 degrees. Therefore, the measure of an angle MEN is 102 degrees. Okay, so, kung pagsasama-samahin natin yung tatlo, 30 degrees plus 102 degrees plus 48 degrees, the answer is 180 degrees. Okay, so arc JHM is a semicircle. JHM is a semicircle. Therefore, it measures 180 degrees. Then, find the measure of JEH. Okay, so G J E H. So, since given na yung 102 degrees at 30 degrees, ang gagawin natin, ia-add natin yung dalawang angle na given. Okay? So, 102 degrees plus 30 degrees equals 132 degrees. Okay? Which is, yun yung kasama sa semicircle. So, ilan nila yung natitira para mabuo yung semicircle? Which is 180 degrees. So, ang gagawin natin, Yung 180 degrees, ima minus natin sa 132 degrees. Therefore, we have 48 degrees. The measure of an angle G, J, E, H is 48 degrees. 
Okay? So, kung i-add natin yung 48 degrees, yung 30 degrees, at 102 degrees, it is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, next. The measure of angle KEH is a right angle. Sa so, pag sinabi nating right angle, it measures 90 degrees. Okay, so meron tayong symbol ng maliit na square. And then, find the angle JEK. So, since um, right angle or nakabuo tayo ng right angle, which is 90 degrees, ima-minus na lang natin yung given 48 degrees. So, 90 degrees minus 48 degrees is 42 degrees. Therefore, um, the measure of angle JEK is 42 degrees. 42 degrees plus 48 degrees is 90 degrees. Okay, next. Arc JLM is a semicircle, which is 180 degrees. And then, I'll find the measure of angle KEL. Okay, kung JLM ay semicircle, okay, so meron na lang natitirang uh, part ng uh, semicircle, which is hindi natin alam kung ano yung angle. Okay, measure ng angle, which is the, the angle KEL. Since given na, given na yung dalawang angle na 42 at 48, ang gagawin natin is ia-add natin yung 40 de 42 degrees at 48 degrees. It is equal to 90 degrees. Uh, since 180 degrees yun, okay, 180 degrees minus 90 degrees equals 90 degrees. The measure of angle KEL is 90 degrees degrees. Okay? So, to check, pag pinag-add natin lahat ng angles natin, which is 42 degrees plus 90 degrees plus 48 degrees plus 102 degrees plus 30 degrees plus 48 degrees, the answer is 360 degrees. Dahil yung buong circle, ang measure nun is 360 degrees. Okay, since nakuha na natin Lahat ng measurement ng central angle, so, isa-substitute na lang natin doon sa mga uh, measure ng angle natin. Okay, number one, the measure of angle LEK is 90 degrees. Okay, angle JEK is 42 degrees. Angle LEJ is 132 degrees. L E J. Okay. Bakit siya 132 degrees? Okay. So, pagsasamahin natin yung angle L E K at saka angle G A K which is 90 degrees plus 42 degrees. That's why we have 132 degrees. Okay. Next, angle J E H is 48 degrees. Then, angle KEM is 138 degrees. Bakit 138 degrees? Kipinagsama natin yung dalawang angles, which is the angle KEL at LEM. Okay, 90 degrees plus 48 degrees is 138 degrees. Okay, next, number 6, which is arc LK. Okay, recall lang natin na kung ano yung sukat ng central angle, yun yung sukat ng arc. Okay, kung ano yung measurement or measure ng central angle, yun din yung measurement ng intercepted arc. Okay, so arc LK, since ang central angle ng arc LK is 90 degrees, therefore, arc LK is also 90 degrees. Arc JK is 42 degrees. Arc LMN is 150 degrees. Okay, pinagsama yung arc ng LM at arc ng MN, which is 48 degrees plus 102 degrees, which is 150 degrees. Next, arc JH, the answer is 48 degrees. And arc KLM 
is 138 degrees. Okay? So, pinagsama natin yung 90 degrees at 48 degrees. So, that's why we have 138 degrees. Okay? So, that is how to find the measurement of an arc and central angle. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit my YouTube channel, Matish, and then click playlist. Thank you. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share.